Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at adding one of our additional features to our Build a Body app, and that is going to be the organ description. So in a previous tutorial, we talked about leaving a little bit of room down at the bottom of our screen on the user interface just for this reason. So in order for our organ description to appear, what we want to actually see happen is when one of those organ systems is being dragged across the screen, we should see the description show up at the bottom of our user interface. So in order for this to happen, we are going to have to make one minor modification to our actual user interface. And that is we are going to go ahead and take a label from our UI and drop it down below. Once we drop that label into our user interface, we're going to go ahead and rename that component and we're going to go ahead and call that organ description label. Once we rename our component, we can go ahead and talk a little bit about the properties and what we want to do to make them look more like the original app. One of the few things that we have to change here is we're going to go ahead and make sure that the width of this label is changed to a fill parent. So it will take up the entire width of the screen. And then we're going to go ahead and change the text from text for label one. And we're going to go ahead and type in organ description. Now, when we go ahead and drag one of those organ systems, what we will want to do is change that label from organ description to whatever the description is in our project lead the way curriculum. And you can see that if we open up one of those documents that have been given to us in project 1.8 build the body, the organ system descriptions have already been given to us. So we can simply go ahead and copy the function that was given to us in this document. So now that we have the user interface ready to go, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our block view. The four event handlers we're going to mainly focus on for our block view is when our organ system is being dragged. That includes your brain, digestive system, respiratory system, or urinary system. Basically what we need to add is we need to go ahead and set the organ description labels text to match one of those descriptions that was given to us in our document. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and find where it says organ description label. And we're going to go ahead and set that organ description label text. Now we're going to, going to need to actually add a text box to the end of this as well so that we have the ability to go ahead and add that description. Now once you have that added in, we can go ahead and simply duplicate that a few times and we're going to add that into each of the four event handlers. Now what we need to add is the function for each organ system into that text block. So for example, if we take a look at the brain and we go back to our organ system descriptions, we're just going to go ahead and copy that text. Once we go ahead and copy that text, we can go ahead and add it to our text box. Now we have what our brain will do when it is being dragged and we have that description that is added. We can go ahead and do the same thing here for our digestive system. Make sure you grab the function and we get all of that text. And then we can go ahead back and add that into that text box as well. And we'll go ahead and do that for the remaining two systems. So here is our urinary system. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and do the respiratory. Now, once we have those descriptions in there, we're going to want to go ahead and take a look and see what is going to happen when we drag those systems. So taking a look at that, Let's take a look at our app and when we go ahead and grab, let's say we're going to grab the respiratory system, what we should see is that organ description will change and now we have a description of the organ system. Once we place that in place, we'll notice that it remains there until we go ahead and drag another organ system such as the brain and that will go ahead and lock that in place. So while we're focusing on organ descriptions, one of the other things we're going to need to know is how do we actually get rid of that? And that's pretty simple. We want to basically go ahead and just modify our reset code just a bit. So we're going to go and find that reset button event handler. And what we're going to do there is we're going to add that set organ label description button one more time. So we're going to go ahead and change that text and we can go ahead and add that right at the bottom. And from there, all we need to do is go ahead and add another blank text box. Once that text box is added in there, we want that to represent our original text, which was organ description. So now once we go ahead and place that organ description in there, anytime we hit the reset button, that's what should appear. So if we go ahead and take a look at our app, we'll go ahead and refresh that companion screen, set it back to the original state. And from there, we can go ahead and see what happens. 
So again, we take that respiratory system and drag it across. We can go ahead and take the digestive system. And whenever we hit the reset button now, we should be able to get that back to the original location and have the organ description displayed as well. And there you have it for adding one of your additional features, which is your organ description.